Wonderful. Let's get started with game number three, people. An exciting game, the final game, up, the final game of the series. We are tied up at 1-1. Of course, if we are getting to game three, we are at 1-1. So it's a five-man smoke coming out of OG, heading towards the mid lane. Uh, we're in, uh, um, just an update, we are looking at a mid Night, uh, night Stalker in this uh, specific game. So that would be really interesting to see how exactly Nine is able to pull off this cheese spec, how we could call it, in terms of the mid Night Stalker, and in case if he's uh, successfully able to fend off the aggression which could come out of Puck and how much uh, of control he can provide on the Puck in the initial stages and what kind of build he would be getting into. So that's what I'm most interested about. And other than that, all the heroes are pretty kind of... Uh, and I'm standard. Thirty seconds to battle. Whisper on his Timbersaw. Then we will see Ex Nova on Enchantress, who is a beast himself. And then we will have uh, well, um, Ari on uh, the Bat Rider. Right on the side of Level Up, uh, it is going to be uh, Focus, who would be playing Shadow Fiend. Then we will have uh, Wish, would be playing uh, Park. And uh, as the bounty runes are spawning, I don't think there is going to be... It was taken by... Oh, it, it has two bounty runes for each team, so I was just checking it again. Right, so it's two bounty runes for both of these teams and equal trade. Uh, and uh, we might be looking at Shad now. The Brambles did not connect. That means they should not be technically able to get the kill on Shad who would be able to make it to the safety of the tier 2 tower without any problems. But a little bit of damage done, so uh, with the no tangos yet in the inventory, we'll have to go back to the fountain, refill the HP and then TP to the tier 1 tower. Uh, would uh, miss the initial creep wave, which kind of sucks for uh, the Luna. But that is nothing that Luna cannot catch up with, right, um, in the game of Dota. So would not be too worried on the side of OG. It, it is only the first creep wave. In fact, it is X Nova who is going to be the happier of two since was able to get some solo experience for himself. And, uh, well, X Nova on himself, on, you know, on an Enchantress is a force to be reckoned with in the later stages. And with all these uh, heroes like uh, Shadow Fiend, Darkseer, um, and Puck, all, all of them are going to suffer from the spear damage. Uh, which would be coming out from the Enchantress in the later stages. Right, so in terms of denies, uh, Wish is having a great game in the mid lane, to be honest. Four last hits, four denies, and uh, the Night Stalker is not, uh, will be hurting an experience eventually uh, when it comes to uh, the Puck actually controlling the game. Still, it is uh, daytime, and it would be another uh, daytime for another three minutes and 21 seconds. So most probably Nine would uh, want to get aggressive after that stage. Uh, looking at the top lane, we have a Timbersaw paired with a Batrider going up against uh, a Shadow Fiend and a Tusk. A pretty nice combination in itself because Tusk can definitely go ahead and set up for the raises. But the only problem they have is Whisper, who is not too worried about the raises, to be honest. Uh, he can, or, or the Ice Shards, because he can always Timber Chain away does have one point in Whirling Death and one point in Timber Chain to start off the proceedings. Um, on the other side, uh, we have Shadow Fiend who has, what, level 2 now? Just one point in Shadow Rays and in fact, we are looking at it, there was a lot of damage done. <coughs> I'm sorry, onto the Tusk and in fact, it's going to be the Shadow Fiend who goes down into the hands of Whisper who would be claiming first bullet for himself. So a nice bit of start coming out from the side of OG. Uh, wherein their draft already looks pretty good in terms of uh, where the game is standing and uh, getting the first blood for themselves and that two on Whisper actually can make quite a big difference in the context of uh, this game. Right, so first blood already down. Of course, it is Whisper who was able to claim it on himself, killing off Focus. And uh, let's move on to the mid lane a bit wherein uh, Night Stalker has recovered drastically in the last one minute while we were looking at the top action he is at what 19 last hits uh compared to the puck who only has 13 so night stalker is getting really into the groove now and uh, with one bracer and a fairy fire to work with night stalker is doing pretty fine for himself in the mid lane uh looking at the bottom lane it is going to be shad who was uh, well 
who got tortured a bit before the zero minute marker but now he's at what uh, 17 last hits which is pretty decent and all of the three cores on the OG are doing extremely well in, come in terms of the last hits uh, 19 on Night Stalker, 18 on Timbersaw and 18 on uh, the Luna so um, OG have, have uh, had a, an excellent start to this game number three wherein they are not letting uh, the dire heroes have any uh, say in this game whatsoever now there was uh, well uh, just a stacking bit going on from the Tusk now Right, four minutes in. Has been a pretty peaceful game other than the one kill on to the Shadow Fiend in the top lane. Uh, we have been seeing a very, very quiet game so far. Uh, it is a Night Stalker who has taken a quite chunk of damage uh, from Wish, uh, really. Uh, we'll have to be careful in the next video, but does have about six Magic Sticks charges, a Fairy Fire, and an Infused Rain Drop as well. So at any point in time, I don't think he's in a lot of trouble of dying. Right, so should be able to cash back up pretty easily does have boots completed as well now so uh, would be able to back make it back to the base and there is night time in about four seconds enchantress ooh, uh three man gang coming in from the side of uh, level up they were able to in fact yeah it is three heroes so a three man uh, gang it is uh, going to be uh tusk who did make it into the top area of the map leaving his shadow fiend alone in front of a timber saw and a bat rider that could all that could only be bad news though they were able to get a kill onto the enchantress but losing their shadow fiend this early in the game twice is not a good sign and we are already looking at a shadow fiend who needs recovery he's only at what about 23 last hits currently and as we are looking at it he just tps to the tier one two tower and just raises on the bloody creeps <laughs> and uh, so that's that's the condition of shadow fiend at the moment does not even have his boots to walk with so it's it's going to be a pretty slow walk and uh, Ari just squirts and spots the poor Shadow Fiend who is like being tortured by Ari one more time, given no space whatsoever. And he will be in a lot of trouble. And in fact, we might see actually Ari going ahead and killing off the Shadow Fiend. Uh, and he's Donzo, dude. Ari, well worth it. Somebody tip Ari. Uh, that has given a lot of space to Whisper and uh, Ex Nova in order to bring down the Tier 1 tower. So six minutes in, the tier one tower goes down. Shadow Fiend is level four, does not have a place to farm. And in comparison, we are looking at a Luna who has been free farming so far in this game. Uh, right, so in terms of the net worth, uh, there is a Dark, uh, well, Darkseer who has caught back up a bit, uh, say 3000 net worth, but uh, the rest of the cores uh, are kind of suffering. Net worth is not too bad on, uh, well, um, compared to Shadow Fiend, Luna is not too going to great as well now there is a two man coil coming in from the puck uh, it is going to be shad who was able to use the stick charges is uh, is in fighting shape at the moment and we might see a uh, no dark Seer is not going to go down ari is not going to well ari did actually go ahead and finish off the kill onto the dark Seer. so ari making the moves in this game number two uh, game number three and now night stalker has come into the picture and they are after the poor puck who is silenced nowhere to go and would eventually be going down so a disastrous start for game number three for level up and they are just um, not exactly sure where they're at at this point in time dude they really have no place on the map uh, all their supports are under level there is a night stalker who is chasing after the tusk uh, the tusk would be able to survive but just imagine there is a timber saw who is free farming in the top lane, Luna is free farming. In the bottom lane, there is Night Stalker who is all across the map. So OG really rocking it already with the 3000 net worth advantage. Now a kill on Luna. Dude, how did that happen? Okay, the, just the combination of Dark Willow and uh, and the Dark Seer. Both of the Dark Brothers or Sisters, we can call it. Um, now it is going to be the Dark Willow who is uh, Donzo Brown. Uh, there is no way this Dark Willow lives. <laughs> Look at the Centaur. He's just chasing after him. Uh, the stick charges have been used. Nine could be in a lot of trouble. There is Ari who is going to go down first in the engagement. But I don't think there is enough legs in the hands of Wish to go out and chase down Nine in the process. But uh, OG getting really big kills on the map though. Uh, 
level up were able to bring down the Luna. In the meantime, Shadow Fiend is going to continue having a very bad game wherein Whisper was able to get on top of the Shadow Fiend, who is still not level 6, by the way. Uh, still searching for a place to farm on the map now. Uh, where are you going, Cus? So they have gone ahead and blocked both of these uh, creep camps from OG. Um, Spartan, uh, I think he was being very sneaky and did a good, great job at it, to be honest. Uh, but nonetheless, as we are looking at the game, uh, we are approaching the nine minute mark OG with a 3000 net worth advantage. And uh, the problem they will have in the near future is going to be Whisper, who is standing at 5300 net worth this early in the game. And uh, what does he have in terms of items? So he already has his Kaya completed is working towards his BKB, so I'm um, not, well, uh, we have seen Timbersaw going for a Blink Dagger as well. But this time around, we are looking at a BKB, which has been queued up by the Timbersaw. Understanding most of the damage, which would be coming out initially from level up, is going to be magical damage. Now, the, a nice knock back into the silence, a nice two-man coil. Now, this could be the turnaround, which level up could be worth looking for. They were able to get a kill onto the Night Stalker, but now Whisper is here. And uh, it is the side of uh, Level Up who have to be careful how far they want to start in this engagement. Eclipse has been committed by Luna. They were able to bring down the Darks here. And in return, they did lose 9 in the process on Level Up. So Level Up doing a great job in controlling all of these heroes. In fact, it is going to be Whisper who could be in a lot of trouble. Couple of more hits needed. Whisper, I think, is definitely going to go down in the process. Is able to Timber Choi I mean, away to the high ground. Uh, the Oh, no. Uh, nothing is connecting level up they were so close to getting the whisper down but whisper is going to survive with a slither of hp now night stalker is back into the fight with uh, using his uh, uh, dark ascension they are able to bring down uh, the park and uh, now it is going to be the bat rider so just great chain of events coming out from the side of og beginning with whisper who did not die and just required what couple of more hits coming out from level up just did not happen for them so yeah they would be bummed with that uh, but at least they would be happy that they were able to bring down nine once in this engagement now it is the mid tier one tower which is being assaulted by og of course there is um, the catapult and chat doing his bit as well in order to bring down the tower but i don't think they would be able to do so the warp mind raider get away no the warp mind raider dies i hate that anyways Right, while all of that is happening, uh, the mid tier 1 tower is going to survive uh, the engagement and the assault coming out from OG. But uh, it is the net worth lead has increased to 4,000 to 4, uh, for the Radiant team. Right, so where do we have our Enchantress? Already at level 6 is going to queue up the 4 stuff. Of course, the Dragon Lance after that. No other item Enchantress is interested in. Just one item built for the zero, I would say. Right, so um, now, uh, well, uh, while all of that commotion was happening, uh, there was uh, this uh, Shadow Fiend who was given a lot of space, but again, he has a lot of catching up as well. Still sitting at 4,700 net worth bottom of all of the cores but um, uh, if you look at the hindsight none of the cores are too far her, too far ahead of him other than the timber saw timber saw is at 7000 freak right so in case if he catches the shadow fiend one more time he's a donzo but there are, is backup which is near the shadow fiend at the moment they understand there could be heroes lurking nearby and uh, with the vision which was set up by um, well, Ex Nova, they were able to scout that uh, there were multiple heroes and Whisper is going to back away from that area pretty easily. Is working towards his blocking bar, of course, a pretty decent item for him uh, against all this magical damage. I really don't mind that. I, well, I, I actually, in fact, uh, like the item choice altogether in this matchup which he's facing against. Uh, we have not spoke about spoken about perk itemization is still working towards the witch blade about 500 gold away from it but this is the first item for perk right right and what about nine he's going into a bkb as well and then shard and 
then the blink dagger. So not too many big items that Night Stalker is, uh, you know, working towards just a basic BKB, which uh, where we are looking at two heroes working on a BKB simultaneously on the side of OG. And it is only the Luna who is working on her Manta style to start out the proceedings, which will enable her to farm that much faster now a three-man smoke coming out from level up let's see if what they are able to achieve Ari is going to be Don's out bye bye Ari uh, but yeah Ari is the hero who took the gank for OG nothing too uh, surprising there though or uh, nothing too devastating for OG they were expecting that to happen maybe but look at the other heroes all of the other heroes are farming like a freaking farmer uh, so 6,600 on Luna. Um, we have Shadow Fiend at 6,200. Dude, what did he get? Big stacks or something? I think he cleared out a big stack for himself. He has already caught back, uh, caught back up to Luna. Dude, that's surprising. And, and that's actually kind of commendable, to be honest. Wherein he was sitting right at the bottom of the network chart. Now he's already at level... He's already at third in it. Um, does have... I, I think the Mask of Madness has to be uh, the item which has actually enabled him to do so and some stocks Radiant's bottom tower is under attack Dyer's top tower is under attack right so a three still a 3000 net worth 11 up uh, level up they did have a pretty horrendous laning stage uh, but they have been able to make the correct moves in the mid game uh, are post that well laning stage, I would not mid game, but post the laning stage, they have been able to do a great job keeping OG at bay, not uh, let the flow of the game affect them too much. And they have been able to kind of stop the bleeding of uh, this net worth and experience uh, going towards OG. So, uh, a nice uh, a game well played by Level Up, um, wherein they were able to stop this kind of an assault. Now they are on the aggressive, it is a four man smoke coming out from. Uh, from level up and they would ideally want to find and yeah it is going to be Ari again who takes the gank yeah uh, they are just going to be going to be so fed up of Ari right uh, they go to the bot area bot lane they find Ari they go to the top lane they find Ari and they are not able to find anything bigger but a kill is a kill in the meantime they did lose their tusk in the process in the hands of Whisper who is just continuing to have a great uh, game Altogether, does have his BKB completed, so I think this import this hero is kind of uh, impossible to kill in the initial stages, and he is working towards his uh, pipe of insight as his next choice of item, which uh, I definitely think is required in in this game uh, for the side of OG. Right, uh, he would be able to get this big creep wave as well. Ouchies, that should catapult him towards his pipe of insight pretty decently. Right, so uh, Manta completed on Luna, I would say. Uh, no, uh, there was the BKB, which was committed by Nine. And they were able to get a kill on the position one Shadow Fiend. Now, Wish is on uh, the pursuit. Uh, he would ideally want to get a kill or two out of the chase, but Nine has already gone back into the fight. The Dream Coil was committed by Puck, nicely dodged by Nine. And now, the rest of the heroes from level up are in shambles and they have nowhere to go. It is only the Puck and uh, Darkseer who survived that engagement, but uh, well, Puck was able to make it out of that area. Uh, now uh, it is actually uh, Nine who is being uh, very, very aggressive on the map. It was working with uh, an amplified damage rune as well, and is already halfway into his blink dagger. Dude, that's quick. That that's good farm coming out. Okay, so 17 minutes in. Uh, let's look at the win probability. 79% favoring Gochi. Uh, I think that's that's a very precise number. And in terms of itemization, we have a BKB completed on 9. We have a BKB on Whisper. Um, other than that, we don't have any major items. Of course, Manta has been completed by Shad. Uh, this was OG. Level Up have completed uh, a Dragon Lance along with the Mask of Madness on uh, Focus, which is, uh, well, Puck has uh, what a witch blade completed and the four star of course you require that against a night stalker otherwise this game just becomes impossible to play then we have a mech which is completed on dark Seer, just building up auras for his team and uh, then we have a blink dagger on dark below that was her first choice of item 
Uh, that's aggressive. In the meantime, we are looking at a fight which is brewing in the mid, uh, near the river area, wherein an attempt was made on Wish, but Wish would be able to survive this attempt without any problems. Uh, but the problem is that they cannot kill Whisper. Whisper is unkillable, and uh, they are able to catch up at least to the support task, uh, which they would very, which they would be very happy with. And uh, OG are completely playing on uh, uh, the dire side of the jungle, so uh, their uh, side of the jungle is completely empty. Uh, there is a shield rune which uh, could be picked up if they had the vision. Can go ahead and enable uh, a hero like Nine to just go ahead and. Uh, dive the tier 2 tower. Now they are making an attempt onto Wish who was again caught into the silence but was able to make it to the safety of the tier 2 tower and uh, yep uh, Wish would be able to survive but look at how scared the Dire team is. They really cannot get out on the map. Uh, yeah. uh, they are all hiding in the trees, scrambled around and majority of the map is controlled by OG. Now there is a uh, uh, well, the BKB available on to the Night Stalker who could be in a little bit of trouble. It has they already taken a lot of damage. A couple of more hits required. And it is going to be, uh, well, Dark Willow who is able to finish the kill onto the Night Stalker. Now the rest of the Radiant Heroes will have to back away from the engagement. Well, let's see if they are actually wanting to back off. Or are they going to play aggressive? While Night Stalker is dead, it is going to be an assault onto the Tier 1 Tower by the entirety uh, of the Dire team. But again, they have to be really careful. Now the Blink Lasso has already been committed. They were able to get a kill on Tusk. They should be, technically. Uh, the force was staff was committed, but again, not enough juice in the tank. So, uh, well, OG were able to defend their tier one tower. In return, they were able to get a kill on the tusk as well. So, nice kind of reply coming out from the uh, radiant team, wherein they did not let uh, the side of level up to get their tier one tower for themselves. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. No gale can snuff the flames. Right, so now the net worth lead has increased to 9,000 uh, for OG. And uh, let's see, in the previous fight, majority of the damage coming out from Night Straw well, is the Timber Saw and the Bat Rider when the lasso was more than enough. Right, so uh, what are we working on? Uh, we are directly working on, on Hurricane Pike on uh, Shad. Um, more than a BKB, I think it's quite decent. I don't mind that item. Uh, get away from all the junk which has been thrown out by level up on the ground uh, by dark seer or maybe you know dark willow so yeah get away from all that danger would be a priority for uh, shad at the moment okay so uh, with the blink dagger and four staff uh, Ari has become a nuisance so any hero who is caught out of position on the side of level up is pretty much Donzo. Uh, with the damage uh, follow-up coming out from uh, the Radiant team is going to be pretty devastating, I would say. And uh, still, the net worth lead is just going to, continue to go get growing because uh, as we're looking at it, 80% of the map is controlled by OG currently. And uh, well, level up are just playing in bits and pieces all across the map. Right, so the tier 2 tower taking a little bit of damage um, and uh, would be, well, taking a little bit of more damage, I would say. Well, at least the catapult is going to die here. Right, so um, we still have the option of ages uh, to be picked up uh, by OG, which has been unclaimed as yet. So, uh, this is, of course, the first rush of the day, which has not been taken. Night Stalker has already used his Dark Ascension. And be, a and be able to get a kill onto Wish one more time. So, uh, this Night Stalker has definitely worked for OG. It's a, it was a last pick Night Stalker, and it has paid dividends without second thoughts. And Nine has been really impressive, though he has died a couple of times more than he should have. Uh, but in return, the plays he has been able to make in this game has not allowed uh, the side of level up to go on the map anywhere altogether as we are looking at it the top tier 2 tower is already dead the bottom tier the mid tier 2 tower is being assaulted by shad at the moment who would be able to take it down without any problems and uh, now the only tier 2 tower standing for the side of level up is the bottom one
So uh, without further ado, uh, OG are going to go into the rush pit after taking the outpost and then they would move on to uh, the last tier 2 tower and maybe uh, tier 3s if they are feeling confident. So uh, that's going to be the natural progression which I'm assuming OG is going to follow. Uh, in the next upcoming couple of minutes, but as we're looking at it, Level Up are wanting to get aggressive on the map. Um, they have come out as uh, as five because they know they cannot play as four or maybe three, or uh, they cannot play anywhere solo on the map because Night Stalker would be just right on top of them. Already has no, he does not have Dark Ascension available as yet. It's still 48 seconds away, and his Blink Dagger is uh, still quite a distance away as well about 450 more gold. But it is a five man smoke which has come out of OG. And in case if they are able to find focus, he's Donzo. Um, yep, a lasso and uh, bad eyes. Bye bye, focus, right? So, um, uh, yeah. And in the meantime, there is Whisper who was able to claim a kill onto the Tusk as well. So things not technically going right for the side of level up in this game number three. And by the looks of it, they are going to head towards the bottom area wherein they don't have a creep wave. Uh, it could be cut. Yep, it's going to be cut by the Dark Seer. So OG really don't have any creeps nearby. Um, level up have done a decent job in getting rid of the creeps. But uh, there is a creep wave heading in the middle lane. Um, but again, the problem is the heroes are respawning. Okay, uh, Timber Chain, uh, Whisper has already Timber Chained away, but it is going to be... No, uh, well, it is going to be Shad who could have been a little bit of trouble, but no, the damage output is more than enough and is able to survive all that assault and all that damage coming out from the side of level up. So uh, there was no buyback being committed by the side, uh, by the Dire team. Uh, but in return, they have uh, lost 80% of their mid-tier 3 tower. And again, um, as we discussed, the natural progression is going to be the Rosh Pit. It's just that OG just wanted to have a feel of the tier 3 tower since there were two heroes dead. I don't blame it. You should show the aggression wherever possible. And uh, they did so exactly. And in return, they are getting a lot of dividends in this game. Right. Uh, Rosh is going to be on uh, the Dire side. Where did, where did he die? He died to a neutral creep. I did not see that, people. Anyways, uh, maybe the Tormentor? It was not the Tormentor. Alright, anyways, yeah. Uh, that was surprising and weird. Right, Luna is uh, trying to solo uh, the Roshan, but no, X Nova is going to go ahead and join him. Since uh, the poor Roshan cannot hit Enchantress. Look at him, look at him, look at him trying. Yep, one more. You can do it. One more. Yeah, he did it. Just so satisfying him hitting, bashing in. Anyways, while we were looking at uh, the Roshan attempting to hit uh, the poor Enchantress, there is the Tusk who did go down into the hands of the Night Stalker, who is playing very aggressive now. Does have his Blink Dagger completed with a Blink, uh, with a blacking bar. Uh, there is absolutely nothing stopping this beast from ruining the game for level up. And I think this is a hero who has actually ruined the game for level up. Uh, he has to be my MVP of the game uh, because so far he has been controlling the tempo of the game, has been uh, has been making plays all over the map. Though he did not have a great game one, nor the nor the, the game two, uh, but he has been having a great game three, wherein he has shown up. His Night Stalker has completely owned the game altogether for his team. Not to forget, Vispa did a great job himself. Um, so yeah. Okay, so uh, the final tier 2 tower is being assaulted by Shad currently. Uh, does have a creep wave coming, which would be here in about, say, 15 seconds or so. And uh, before that, Shad just went ahead and uh, got some vision for himself. Now, uh, they did have vision on focus for a second there, but he is uh, kind of backed away from that area and uh, back into his uh, base. All right, so the tier 2 tower is still standing. They, in fact, are not wanting to go for the tier 2 tower, or are they? Yep, they are not going to go and approach the tier 3 tower. In fact, they just want to take down the tier 2 tower to start the proceedings, and they would want to ideally take down this tier 3 tower uh, to start uh, the attack on the base for level up. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. It will be a ruined, long study. Right, so I would not be surprised in case if they would want to forfeit 
uh, this set of racks on the side of level up because I don't think they're taking a fight and winning it. Uh, is my problem. There is a bat rider with a blink dagger just waiting as as we were discussing. He did get a lasso onto uh, the Dark Willow who is dead immediately. In fact, the Dusk is not looking very healthy as well. Shad doing a decent chunk of damage and it just chunks down the Dark Seer like a piece of cake. And now there is no fight to be had. Uh, does, uh, there is, uh, well, there is a BKB available on the Night Stalker, which he has not used it as yet, but just one Lucent Beam brings the Night Stalker down to 50% HP. Uh, now, they are making an attempt. They would be able to bring down the Night Stalker to quite a bit low HP, but again, the damage numbers were quite not enough. Wish doing a decent uh, chunk of damage there, but uh, eventually they fell short of it. Now, Shad has to be careful out of the physical damage coming out from... Uh, uh, the Shadow Fiend now, Shadow Fiend has to be con uh, well careful of just one loose and beam. Uh, did bring him down significantly. Right, so uh, it is going to be Luna who does lose his first life uh, in that engagement. Uh, does not have a BKB to work with, but at least they were able to get one set of racks on the side of OG and another tier 3 tower. Right, so uh, this is something OG will be really happy with. They would be able to get a Wisdom Rune. Um, in the process as well and uh, the second life not available on Luna I think they are just going to back away from that area since they have already gained a lot of gold right they only have to what collect the items which uh, uh, well they need to spend their gold honestly uh, they are about what 20,000 net worth lead in this game currently and um, as the graph says 92% favoring uh, OG in this game number three Alright, a blink lasso directly coming out from uh, the Batrider and they are able to bring down the Night Stalker. He does uh, not have a buyback for another 250 gold. So, ouchies. Yeah, that, that was unfortunate. Not exactly sure how they would be able to catch back up to this. Um, and I, I seriously feel there is not even a miracle uh, which can save the side of level up at the moment just because of the amount of farm uh, that OG has above level up currently. Excuse me. All right. Another Blinken, but again, it is the tier 4 tower which has already been taken down by Shad. Uh, there is a Dream Call which was committed by Pug, but I don't think they have enough damage in the tank in order to bring down the Bat Rider, wherein the pipe was already committed by Whisper. So the rest of the Radiant Heroes have to back away from the engagement, and I think this is just GG. It, it is GG. I don't think there is any any comeback in this uh, game for uh, Level Up. And it is going to be OG who are going to take the series 2-1 against Level Up. A great series overall wherein we did see a great game number one from Level Up. But in game number two, it was kind of even for uh, till a certain stage. But uh, game number three has just been a shellacking uh, from the side of OG. So uh, that was a great, great game of Dota overall. Thank